What's happening, everybody? It's time for another round of Total Chaos. We're talking the Sweet 16 going down this Thursday, March the 24th. My name's Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays, and we are brought to you by Caesar Sportsbook. You guys want to check out the description of this video and find the promo that Caesars is offering all new accounts. It's up to $1,100 in first bet insurance. It's a really good deal. So check out the description of the video or just download the Caesars app and use the promo code Morning CZR. All right, with me today, I've got two expert handicappers, Sean Higgs from Midday Money from Winning Free Picks. You went five and zero oh last week, friends. That makes you six and two for the month of March. Thirty-seven, twenty-six and two for the year. How you feeling, Higgs? Pretty good. Why not? I mean, it's all my numbers. I got to be confident coming in my total, so I'm excited. That was good. Pretty good this year. It's been good. Yeah, it has been. It definitely has been. Daniel Henderson, you're seven and three in March, seven and three on the year. How are you feeling today, sir? Feeling pretty good. Let's get it. All right, let's get it. So we're going to start off with Arkansas versus Zaga. The total on this one is 155. Higgs, is it going over or under this total? It's going over. I bet the over already 154 and a half picked up. I'm going over. You know, this is Arkansas can get up. And Gonzaga is going to score. Not overthinking things here. No. Pretty simple. Let's go over the total. All right, Daniel. You overthinking yeah. things? No, not at all. It's a no-brainer. Um, Zags averaging 87. Arkansas averaging 76. Um, are you combine it, that's way over 155. So, yeah, I'm going over to 155 as well. Yeah, when I think of Arkansas, I think a rowdy. That's how I think of them. They're a rowdy team, and they will pump that score right up. So I'm with you guys on this one. Michigan, Villanova, Daniel Henderson, 135 and a half, over or under? Um, Got that one going over as well. Michigan is 8-2 and two to the over on the last 10. Villanova is 5-5. Five and five. Um, Combined together, they're 3-0 and oh on the under, but um, – Michigan scoring 73, Villanova scoring 73. Somebody's got to score an extra two to win the game. So it's 146 plus two. Give me one for it. So, yeah, I think that one's going over 135. All right, Higgs, are you with him or against him? I am. And I'm, I'm on you over here. And you look at it, you're thinking probably an under, right? Nobody's going to kind of play their defense. Michigan, Big Ten might slow it down. It could get ugly into the – you know, 65, 60 type thing, but I don't know. I've seen 76 and 75 for Michigan. They've kind of turned it up a little bit, you know, even in their loss. Remember, they choked away that Indiana game. They're, pretty, they're cruising, and then they're like, hey, we, we're doing great, and then they forgot there's a second half to a game. So right. they're going to get into the 70s, uh, easily into the 140s here for both teams. So over the total. All right, Texas Tech at my versus my bel I love these two teams. I don't want anyone to go um, home, but I really don't want Duke to go home. So 137 is it going over or under the number, Higgs? You know, I like the over here. And Tech could come out and maybe stymie Duke. You know, we've seen Duke, let's be honest. The the farewell tour has not been all that great for Duke, right? Coming the, the last three weeks, the way things have gone for I'm for right Tech. here. I know you're right are. here. <laughs> but I don't, you know, I don't think it's going to be another one. I think we'll see a points, and I think we'll see a lot of points. With them. Tech is, I, yes, defensive first, but I, I don't know. I'm just, for me, this is more going against what everybody else that I think is going to do here and take the under. So that's how I'm going over. All right, all right. Daniel Henderson, over or under for Tech at, and Duke? Oh, I'm leaning towards the under on this one. Oh. Um... These defenses are pretty decent. Uh, Texas Tech is uh, only allowing 60 points per game. Duke is only allowing 67. Um, even though Duke is scoring in like the 80s and Texas Tech in the low 20s, 70s, um, I see the defense playing each other and uh, slowing the pace of this game. Texas Tech more particularly trying to slow the pace to keep it uh, in manageable and reachable for them. That's the only way I see them possibly winning is if they slow it down and make it a lower scoring game. So I'm going under the uh, 137 on this one. Duke, baby. My other one. So Duke is my heart, but Houston is where I went to college, and they're playing Arizona. Dang it, I wrote the at symbol again. I don't, with all the free pick videos I do, you would think, 
with my University of Houston education that I could sort this out. <laughs> it's 145. <laughs> Daniel, what do you got on this one? Again, man, we got uh, 59 points for the Houston Cougars defense and 68 for the Arizona Wildcats. Um, Houston loves playing these low-scoring, scrappy defensive games. So I'm looking for them to bring it down to their level and uh, keep Arizona out the paint and try to keep the score low. So I'm going under on this one, too. All right, Higgs, what say thee? Yeah, this was a kind of toss up for me. So I'm I'm, I'm gonna go over one one will have definitely have a winner here since I've got to take you over here. But I'm Houston plays that defense. They do, they're gonna want to slow it down, play their game. But what we, I mean Arizona, I just think this line tells me Houston. Right? It's a one, it's a low line. Yeah. Everything's saying Houston in the under here. But I'm mean, who's slowing down Arizona? 80, 85, 87 the last two games in the tournament. For Pac-12 tournament, 84, 82, 84, I mean, 89, 81, 91, 97. We saw him throw a hiccup against Colorado. Uh, listen, I'm a Houston guy now, right? I mean, come on. That's, I'm West Houston. That's that's my spot. You know, I'm in the dirty jersey right now. But I I don't know. We've, we've seen against Memphis a team, not that they're similar, but athletic-wise in the way they play, similar to Arizona and what, 71-63 and 75-61. So definitely Houston-type. Um, dictating the pace there. I, I'm still. I, I'm, I'm going to go over. I don't know why do I think this game? Because Houston has one of the top scoring offenses in the country. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I mean, so I mean, Arizona can shoot that ball too. So I, I just put the coach. I could see him saying, "Let's d it up and bring it down." I'm still going over. I'm not. Let's. Go, yeah, let's that's go. one I'm not going to bet on because I, I agree with both of you. I see it going under. I see it going over. It's it's yeah. going to be a good game. I agree. It screams to take Houston, which scares the crap out of me because I think the Duke line screams to take Duke, and it, Texas Tech is the play all day. So that scares me. That being said, let's do a recap. Um, <laughs> I'm so stressed out about tomorrow. Like Friday, Sweet 16, I could care less. But tomorrow, y'all don't call me between like 4 and 8 p.m. Okay, like I'm busy all day. Um, okay, so we're going to do some recapping. I do want to remind everybody to subscribe to the Max Wagers Network. That's where you're going to find winning free picks. Um, you want to follow Sean Higgs show Midday Money. It's on the yes. Max Wagers Network. It's on the Winning Free Picks YouTube channel. Um, Sean Higgs, how are things going over? I already know how they're going. You're number five over the last 30 days up on the leaderboards at picksandparlays.net. What can yeah. the people expect to find when they cruise over to buy your premium plays, your best bets? College hoops. It's March. It's, of course, it's college hoops centric right now. I'm, although I did throw out. Uh, two hockey and NBA the other day, and we went two and one. So I'll take it because one of the hockeys is a doggy, Devils, and I had the Magic. So Magic outright yesterday. So that's that's the way you're going to go when you get an NBA. I mean, you get a seven point dog outright, and they underdog yeah. on the ice. So and I cal I cal we had a nice puck line. I you know I didn't even know if they won or lost. So I know it was a puck line loser. Could have been a one point win, whatever. Two and one, money in your pocket, folks. It's all it matters, right? Boom. That's how that works. And when you're over at picksandparlays.net buying Higgs best bets, use the promo code MAX. M A X is going to save you 20% off at picksandparlays.net. <laughs> Uh, you and Lenny both have like the Craig Trap gear on. You guys have the cool pullovers, and I got nothing here. I got Bel Air Academy, which is actually way cooler. And you guys, this matching shirt. Daniel Henderson, you've been writing fantastic articles over at the picksandparlays.net site. Tennis is back, man. This is your jam. What do you got going on for us, Daniel? Um, we've got a lot of things going on. Um, like you say, tennis is coming back. Um, all Every week there's a new tournament, seems like it. Um, we also got the USFL coming, which is the United States Football League that's coming next month. Um, we're going to be covering some of those, and we got some horse racing too. So a lot of new exciting things going on at Fixing Parlay. So just tune in, man, and see what's going on. I just checked my bet slip, and I did cash your uh, Allison Risky over 20 and a half. I cashed mm -hmm. that already today. So thank you, sir, for that bet. <laughs> Money in the bank. All right, so here's the recap. Remember when they agree, those tend to be the money makers on the show. 
We've got Arkansas Gonzaga 155. I bet this. When you said that you already bet it at 154 and a half, I checked my bet slip. That's why it's open right now. And mine was at 154 and a half. So I took that over with you, Higgs. Let's rock and roll. But they both agree it goes over. Uh, Michigan at Nova 135 and a half. They both agree that one goes over. Bonus pick. I did a free pick with old Higgs here. He likes Michigan plus the five and a half. Uh, Texas Tech and Duke 137. Higgs is going over. Daniel's going under. And same thing for Houston, Arizona 145. Higgs is going over. Daniel's going under. That's the way we are playing this round of Sweet 16 Chaos. Thank you guys both so much for joining me and may the best capper win. Good luck, everyone. <laughs>